Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Max and today we're doing another sketchbook ideas video. These videos do tend to be quite popular on my channel, but they have been decreasing a bit. Which is fine, it's just that these are the most effortful videos that there are because I'm doing 10 things instead of one. I've got some interesting ideas for you today. I hope you enjoy them and find them useful. The first idea I want to share with you is to make a colour themed page. This basically means make a page and fill it with things that are a specific colour and only that specific colour. I'm doing pink here so I'm including things like flowers and flamingos. But for example, if you were doing orange, you could have a pumpkin, you could have a clownfish, things like that. And all around the things that I've drawn, I've put these little geometric shapes that fit between everything to fill up the space a bit more. Another way of doing this could be to just paint the whole background the colour to start with. The reason I chose the colour pink for this page is because each of the quarters of my book is meant to be themed after one of my OCs and this first quarter is supposed to be Ace and Ace's favourite colour is yellow but he also really likes the colour pink so I'm doing pink on his section and I'll probably do a yellow one later. I do hope to eventually have all of the colours in my book. So to colour in all of the different objects on the page I use coloured pencils and I only had about five different shades of pink coloured pencils, so the whole thing did end up looking a little bit monotone. I did allow myself to use peach as well, which is technically not pink, but the actual colour label on it was pink peach, so I counted that. And that was quite handy because it meant I could do a more normal looking skin tone for the boy and also on the cake. On either side of the spread I had these rows of flowers and I kept those the same because I wanted it to look like it tied together as a whole piece. And then I got some acrylic paints out and I painted all of the shapes in the background the same colour of pink. I really really like this page, I like the rose and the cake but I think my favourite bit is the boy, I don't know who he is, he looks a bit like Ace but he is an Ace. And guess who else is not Ace? This guy, this is Jake uh, in this next idea, which is to draw some worlds within worlds. Now this is inspired by a colouring book I know of by Kirby Rosanes, which is called Worlds Within Worlds. And it's all basically themed after there's one setting in each colouring page and then there's another one within it. And that's what I was trying to do here. I did kind of steal that idea, so uh, Anyway, for this idea, I had Jake sitting on the path in this really creepy forest. All the trees are like dead and it's really, really dark. And he has a torch and he's shining it upwards. And in the torchlight, everything's a lot brighter. It's daytime and there's all leaves on the trees and butterflies flying around. I used watercolors to do all the coloring in. And when I use watercolors, I really like to use this uh, weird brush pen water holdy thingy which is basically like a pen, except it has water in it and a brush on the end. So you just need to squeeze it when you want to get some water instead of like dipping it in the pot. I guess it's a bit lazy, but it is quite handy, except I have really weak hands and I struggle to squeeze the water out. Um, the old one I had was better at squeezing, but the nib was a lot thicker, so it wasn't very helpful. I know I said that this section of the sketchbook is meant to be like ace themed. Uh, this is an ace, as I said earlier, but that's fine because it counts because he's married to him. Um, anyway, uh, I got pencils to do all of the shading and the details and things. I did the whole of Jake himself with pencils because I've got a lot better range with skin tones with pencils. And I also used the pencils to show the light beam coming off the torch. I went over the lines where the torch light starts and I just did some light yellow shading over it. I really like this page but I'm just now realising I never coloured the actual torch in. I'll do that now. Idea number three is to draw a cityscape. These can be really fun to draw and they can be really good for your technical and copying skills. 
They're also good because you can do them in any medium you want and they always look pretty cool afterwards, no matter what, unless you really mess it up, in which case that's on you, you failed, good job. I'm sorry, that was mean, I don't know why I said that. For my one, I sketched out a outline, more like a silhouette really, than a sketch of all the buildings and then I got my micron pens out and I did cross hatching for like the base colour of the walls and such and then I used a thinner pen to do all the light shading in the windows and like the window sills and the skirting boards not skirting boards, I don't know, whatever the white skirting board looking things are on the top of them you can tell I'm not an architect this drawing is actually very similar to one I did ages ago. I say ages ago, it was the last page of my previous sketchbook. I did something very similar, except it was more of a cityscape looking thing than houses. These look more like apartments or just very tall house buildings. The other one I did was more like skyscrapers and such. I have no idea where this is, uh, these buildings, um, I just found this on Pinterest and I thought it looked cool. I'm pretty sure they're Dutch though, they look quite Dutch styly the buildings, uh, but they could be anywhere really. I liked how the buildings were all very similar in this, but they all had like different style windows or different shaped windows and that's what made you tell them apart. I thought that was really cool and that's why I picked this picture. I really like this spread, especially because I don't draw buildings very often and it's nice to have a bit of variation in my sketchbook, especially after a really colourful page like the one I just did. Number four is to plan outfits for your OCs. You can do as many as you like, I'm going to do four and their themes are casual, formal, hot weather and cold weather. They are a bit like how in Sims you've got all the different outfit categories, I just used a couple of those as inspiration. I am of course drawing Ace's outfits and I always like drawing outfits for Ace, I find him the most fun to draw out of all my OCs because he's more androgynous with what he wears. So I've got a lot more freedom with the sort of thing I can put him in. And also girls clothes are just cooler anyway, like they have so many interesting outfits that they can wear like skirts and dresses and stuff and with boys it's just like here shorts t-shirt that's it that's all you get enjoy anyway for aces casual outfit i put him in some shorts and some really tall socks and also a little open shirt short sleeved thing and a t-shirt underneath he's also wearing his signature earring hoop thing and then on his formal one, he's wearing this sort of jumpsuit thing. It's red and it's meant to be like sparkly and sequiny, but I struggled with getting that accurate. And then on the hot weather one, he's wearing a short and a crop top with like a sort of see-through sort of jackety thing over the top. And he's also carrying a bag because Jake's the sort of person that doesn't carry the bag and makes someone else do it. And then his cold weather one I really like, he's wearing a more masculine outfit than usual, he's got a beanie on and some jeans and a little puffer jacket. I coloured them all in with my brush pens and usually my brush pens are really annoying on this paper but they actually worked really well which I was very surprised by. I really really like this page but it is a little bit sort of bare, there's a lot of empty space which I don't like. And finally, idea number five is to draw your surroundings. Unfortunately, yes, there is only five ideas this episode as opposed to ten because I just, I don't have the energy to make a massive long video that only 40 people are going to watch. So here it is. Um, this one, you can go somewhere specific to draw around you like the woods or like a park or something or go somewhere really pretty, but you could just draw where you are right at that moment and for me that was my desk so here it is. I just did a very quick biro sketch of it and then I got my felt it pens out and I coloured in all of it with like weird colours that they don't actually fit as I don't have a random orange wall in my bedroom. Um, I did have trouble with these pens. I used to use these all the time and for everything they were like my go-to art supply but 
they do run out really quickly and that orange pen was like a brand new very juicy pen and then if you try and color a large area with it it just runs out pretty much instantly so i had to put these weird green squares on my wall and i don't actually have those i'm not sure what those are even meant to be but that's that happened that's all that we could do and uh, i have got two pairs of scissors uh one is big one is small for 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 purposes i just i have a lot of scissors at my house i don't know why i just i forget to bring them to school and then i like borrow them at school and i forget to give them back and it's sort of stealing but it's also sort of not so um we're not gonna dwell on that too much originally i planned on using only my felt tip pens for this but i did get some paint out for my desk because it was a very large area and I knew I wasn't going to have enough of juice in a pen to fill it all up. I also got uh, black paint as well because I actually don't have any black felt tips so I couldn't do all the outlines. Here it is, it's finished, it's okay, it's a bit mediocre, it's not my favourite page but hey ho, that's the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed and found this useful. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!